Today is January 13th. I'm going to be the LPS auction here offline. The trustee makes these sales without warranty and does not express any, opi of any opinion as condition of title. Every bidder except the beneficiary should provide a $10,000 deposit in another form that is satisfactory to the trustee as a condition of entering each bid. Each bidder must also provide their name, address, and phone number. Well, I would not provide information with regards to the property other than the information provided at the sale, and I do not nor nor report which lead position is being sold. Every bid should be an irrevocable offer until the sale is completed, except that of a subsequent bid by the same bidder for higher amounts of each of the bidders that were bid. I will require the successful bidder's deposit before closing the sale. The highest bidder, excuse me, the highest bidder will have until 5 p.m. The next business day to pay the bid price in the form of a cashier's check made payable to the trustee and delivered to LPS at 40 North Central or here at the sales location. LPS and or agents cannot accept wire transfers, direct deposit to cash. The sale should be deemed complete upon payment by the purchaser of the bid price in the form satisfactory to the trustee. <clears throat> if the highest bidder fails to pay the bid price to the trustee within a given time, the deposit will be forfeited. In addition, a highest bidder who fails to pay the amount bid is liable to any person who suffers loss or expenses result. The trustee shall, in the sole discretion, make a determination how to proceed with pursuant to ARS 33-811 should said bidder not perform. Upon payment of the bid price, the sale should be deemed completed unless sale set is contrary to or any violation of any federal statute in effect because of unknown or undisclosed bankruptcy. The sale so held should be deemed to be continued 28 days from today, at least that day is a holiday, in which case it should be continued the next business day thereafter, unless otherwise announced. All bidders who provide their name, address, trustee's net sale number will be notified of continuance. All right, Ray, check please. Pam, check please. Give me a second. It's my office. Pam, thank you. Will, thank you. Hello? Hey. Nice. Cool. Okay, everything's assigned to me though, right? Okay, sounds good, Emma. Thanks, thanks. All right, bye. Ooh, check the one that's wiggling. <laughs> right here. Because I want to play. Because I want to play. I want to play. Uh, Pam, Pam, Rod, check. Shane, check. Hi, Jonathan. Rod, thank you. Muska, <laughs> thank you. Mike, uh, Angelo, check please. Preston, check please. Thank you. Demi, Preston, Kyle, Coco, thank you. Uh, Mike, thank you. I haven't assigned him, but... Well. <laughs> it's empty. I just have to run it out Thank you, boss. Uh, let's see, Hoyt or Forrest. Uh, Hoyt, thank you. Angelo, thank you. <laughs> Garrett, thank you. Okay, um, let's go. I'll be honest then. See, Steve, thanks, bud. <laughs> uh, Tim or Diana, check please. Oh, that's a beat up check. Yeah, <laughs> it looks pretty good compared to the rest of them. Yeah, it does. Uh, Moran, check. Greg or Chuck, check please. Thank you, Greg. Moran, check please. See, Tony. Oh, actually, Angelo, I saw your check in mine. Uh, Patrick or Evan? Thanks, Evan. Uh, Langlin, check please. Beatrice, check please. Thank you, Greg. Beatrice, thank you. Let's see, Benjamin Gray. Nope. Lou, check please. All right, the following people, I need to see your ID as well as your check. Uh, Nick Adante. Al Hammock. Thank you. Let's see Randy Richardson. It's going to be about 20 minutes before I get started, so okay, we'll run out of it. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Adam. 
Okay, buddy. Thank you. Yes, sir. Let's see, I can't read your first name. Last name is Hawthorne. All right, Daryl Owens. <coughs> See Kevin Ramley. Okay, Andrew Brandt. Uh, Chris. All right, once again, I am delaying sales for about 15 or 20 minutes, guys. Either, either or. Either or, yeah. Um, if it's under your name, when, if you're, you are successful, we'll just go ahead and go set up the trust. No, actually, it's got to be in that bidder's name. Um, do you have a check with you? No, I don't. Okay. Attention. Whoever's going to be um, I, uh, the bidding. If I have a, uh, a minute or so, I have a lien on a property on Manzanita. Uh, and uh, when it comes up, I have the Yeah, the best thing. I, to the best thing I need that same day. Unauthorized. But if you want to change when it, comes up, it, you'll have to, you have to wait to get more paperwork. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. No, just, just the cashier's check. The best thing can be in the right need to get before you need these. Not, these aren't your friends. You need to tell them. This is my property, and this is an illegal auction of my property. That's and you'll be happens. part of the action. Well, if here's, you, his, here's his thing. Red flag it. Hey, maybe there's something here. I'm going to quiet. No, it won't. <laughs> well, the other thing, too, it's at 206. So I mean, it's way, way out of line for the area right now. That would be the thing. My, at least my opinion is, is if you bid on this property and you're successful, you, you cannot, uh, you will lose your money. You know, that's what these people are interested. In. That's what you're saying. That's well, I know, but I don't know if he made that no, point. You know, you know the big, yeah, the big thing. That's my point. Oh, I agree. The, the big thing I try, not so much this because it's off the top of my head. I, ne I never threat. I always bring across. It's very important for you to consider. Be careful. And then let them think, and, they, and, and if they say you threaten, oh no, I just said it was very important to get okay. this dealt with. Well, that's the thing, you got to understand it. Everybody here putting up $10,000 bid bonds, if they know they're buying a property, that's got a cloudy that's title. got a cloud of title and they can't sell it? Yeah, they're fucked. That's a problem. Yeah, they'll lose their money. Well, you know, the other thing, too, what's really amazing, and I don't know how often this happens with a group like this, that's another thing to think about with all the witnesses, per se. I would think twice myself with a group. But the little old lady coming over here, oh, no, we'll take her car, too. That's what they're banking on. <clears throat> right, but at least he made the announcement. We got on film, so, you know, the, you know. The, uh, you'd be a buyer be warned, you know, the, uh, Cavita M. Fator. The, um, his associate is making up more calls. Mm -hmm. He gave it to the gal and wondered if there's more more calls. I, there's only thousands of houses that they're dealing with. Thousands. Yeah, that's and why I'm you're saying. You, one little you, you want to be the squealy pig up. that squeals all the way home. You don't yeah, want to yeah, be yeah. a quiet pig. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like the squeaky wheel. Yeah. That's it. You don't. Get rid of this one because we have 999 more to go. Don't yeah. drag this out. Let them let them let them do whatever to whoever doesn't know their rights. If they don't understand the process, you know, they're gonna lose it. You can't help everybody. You know, you come to our assembly, you've been doing the right thing, you've been studying, oh my I've been God. pushing you, so that's why. You need to do it. Can you tell them when you say be warned that uh, when you say or be aware there's a yeah. I don't know. That you could lose your money. Yeah, I exactly. <laughs> could, could, could. Yeah. Well, you made your announcement. I don't know. You don't have to make it again. No, no, no. You made your announcement. If they didn't hear you, buyer be warned. Well, here's the other thing too. That that camera that you have is a big thing too. Huge. You have a lawful recorded. So let's get your uh, our lien. I want to record lawfully all these. Recorded lien. Hang on. We have a lawfully recorded notice. Uh, of that's not going to come out too well. You're in the sun. It's got half here. Let me shade. Sure get out of your way. I think if you're over this away, it might work better, Tony. Hang on. Let me uh, zoom in on it. What's your name? Hang on. 
So what is your name? My name is Anthony Ralph. Okay, and what are, what are, what are you uh, signing here that looks like? I'm witnessing to this uh, foreclosure auction Okay. that it was, lien was submitted, uh, uh, given notice to the auctioner. Okay. The, the auctioner's name is Jonathan. We'll do it again. So I am one of 13 people here. Okay, and that's also been witnessed by three other people. So that is a common law notary, right? By the Arizona statute? No. Okay, by just common, common law. law. Common law. Okay. So here. Statutes. You here. ready? Yeah, you want to do me? Sure. Okay, state of Arizona. Cross out that, yeah. Man on the man on the land. Of Maricopa, is that right? Of Maricopa or for Maricopa? Okay. State of Thirteenth January. Looks good. All right. Okay, who wants to need be some, my witness? Need some witness. Okay, let me just say what I'm doing here. Okay. Oh yeah. Just that this way. Yes. My name is Thomas Costanzo, and I am here. It is uh, January 13th, 2001, uh, 201 West Jefferson, Phoenix. I am certifying that the auctioneer Jonathan was served with the paperwork indicating that there is a cloudy title on the land or on the property in question, and the and the bank never responded to his to his presentment letter. And so they are in default, and if they sell this property, they will be held accountable in, a, uh, in the de jure county of Arizona. And I've put, affixed in my signature here to indicate that I am a, a man on the land and uh, I am a witness to this illegal proceeding if they continue to proceed. Nice. So, okay. Witness. Witness time. Witness, Rick, witness. Okay. <laughs> so why, why is this well? Oh. Okay, so what is your name, sir? My name is Ken Busey. Okay. And I am witnessing um, Mr. Turn, Costanzo. Turn around so we can get the whole thing in there. I'm witnessing Mr. Costanzo's statement that uh, we are all here witnessing uh, what might be a fraudulent sale if they continue through with the sale uh, of this gentleman's land uh, as he has presented paperwork to the to the bank to show proof of debt and they have not they have defaulted on that so he's put, he's put a lien on the property and if the auction goes through the sale it'll be a fraudulent sale okay That's my best understanding okay well thank you very much let's just happen well, basically we had everybody sign the witness and uh, we've gathered them all up. The auction's going to start here in a few. And uh, the objective for myself and for the group is to, if he continues with it, then we go to the next step. Uh, he did a fraudulent situation, and so we'll be following up after that. If he cancels and delays the auction, we did what we needed to do today. Okay, so and so, how many how many signatures have you had? Do you have here? I think about 12 to 14. I think we're still getting a few. Okay. A few. Yeah. Well, now it's up to God. That's right. 